So this episode is really interesting. We're going to be looking at Google hacking or Google manipulation with dorks. Dork is basically something specific that you can search for within Google. If you type in URL space and then a certain text, so for example, in URL, if you go to Google in your browser and type in URL, and then you can see Google also auto suggests different things. But if I click on index.php id equals, you can see all websites are showing up that have index.php id equals within the URL. So you can see at the top, I clicked on the first one. And you can see at the top it says index.php id equals and that's the second half of the url but with these dorks you can find sensitive information because some people configure websites poorly and google may scrape something it shouldn't and you can use these dorks to find specific things so head over to this website it's called exploit db and then type google hacking click enter and this will display loads of dorks that find sensitive information. You can see on the left hand side of this database, you can see when it was added, so you can see how new the dork is. You can actually see what the dork is just to the left of that, just to the right of that, sorry. And then the category of it, so the category is what it basically just shows. So for example, this dork here that I've highlighted shows files containing juicy info. And the author is Alexandros Papas. And that's basically it within this database. So that's all you need to know. The date added, what the dork is, what category it's under, and who created it or who found it. So let's find something interesting that we can actually test. These are fairly new. So let's try this. This one here, I haven't tried. So this episode is sort of like, I might not talk as much because I'm sort of focusing on what it's found. But you can follow along. So I'm going to copy this dork and all I need to do, make sure I copy the whole thing as it is and include any speech marks or quotes, include them. And then I'm going to go to Google and specifically search for it. So if I search for this, it should show up different dorks or I should say it shows up different websites that include that specific dork. So the dork in this case is in URL port 8081 and then text that says pan, tilt and zoom. So obviously it's gonna show up webcams because pan, tilt and zoom is associated with webcams and it's gonna show ports that are open. It's gonna show 8080 or 8081 that's open. So you can see all these different webcams. So I'm gonna click on one. I don't know what's gonna show up. So I'll just click on this webcam seven. You can see port 8081 is open and this webcam appears to be live. So you can find webcams. I don't know why this webcam is actually live. I don't even know where the webcam is showing. But this port appears to be open. There's no login for that. Uh, let's try a different one. This is a completely different webcam. It's actually moving. So someone's using the webcam as I'm watching it. You can actually pan, tilt it and zoom. So I can control it myself. Um, I've never seen this before though. So don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. I think that's me doing that. So uh, I'll click it to the left. So I'm clicking it to the left, but I don't think it's actually doing anything. I don't know even where is this webcam? I think I done that. I'm not sure. There may be other people watching this webcam, but I think I'll go off it now. Does it, to me it looks like somewhere in America, but I might be wrong. It could be some foreign country. But the, clearly that webcam needs to be. Um, secured so let's have one more look at a different one so this looks german so they might all actually be in germany so this is a proper webcam and it's live so this is just an example of poor configuration they don't either have any login details or the login details have been left as default and then someone's actually accessed it or they've left the port open you can see here when we've typed in 8081 into that dork, it always shows websites with 8081 port open. So there's actual people on the bike right now in Germany. I'm assuming this is Germany. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. So that's that for that dork. So that's found various online devices, and that's true. So that's that category. Let's have a look at something else. So I'll go to the second page. You can still see more uh, more categories here, but I don't want to do any of them. Um, I won't do too many. I'll do two more. 
So there's actually one here that says files containing uh, passwords. So what I'll do is I'll click on that and it'll change the category. So now the category is changed. So you can see after clicking on the category, it changes all of these dorks to be associated with this specific category. So all of these dorks now you're seeing will display files containing passwords. So I'm going to go to page four at random. I don't know what's going to show up again, but let's have a look. I'll only do one more because I think you get the idea now. You just copy and paste them into Google and see what comes up. If this one is not very good though, I will try one more. So let's see what shows up with this dork. Uh, there's not, there's actually quite a few, but I don't know what it's going to show up. Root and root password in the URL. VM login. Maybe that's like a local virtual machine login. It might not be, it could be an SSH to a virtual machine. Login, uh, password, W, WordPress admin information. Right, okay. Uh, is this website live? All right, even I'm shocked at the poor configuration within these websites. Um, okay, that looks like a genuine website, so I'm going to go off that now for some reason I have no idea why that is scraped and basically what's gone wrong there is if that is the genuine WordPress admin password and username or username and password is because of just poor configuration the website has a robots.txt file that they could prevent um, Google from scraping this and in fact that they shouldn't even have a text document uploaded to their server called login.txt with the login information um, but I don't understand that, but I think I'll leave it there. I think I'll, I will, I'll leave it there. So that was just a brief introduction into Google hacking database on the exploits DB website. You get the idea. You just highlight, you copy it and paste it into Google, click on the URLs that show up and see what information you get. It's as simple as that. You may come across some really sensitive information. If you do always let the website owner know they might even very small chance they might even reward you. I know that sounds a bit extreme, but if it is a genuine uh, website that no one's come across and it does contain sensitive information, you never know. So I recommend you always check these, you know, check these every week, see what new dorks have been added, because the newer the dork, obviously, the less likely uh, the website knows about it, if that makes sense. But to actually go back to the other category, you can just go to the top here. You can change the category or just clear it. So then it goes back to every single category. If you click on this one, online devices, that is mainly webcams like I showed before. But that's basically it then. So that was just a quick introduction into Google Dorks and Google Hacking. So hopefully you did enjoy that. It was quite interesting even for me because I didn't even know what website I was going to end up on. So... Hopefully you did enjoy that and I will see you in the next tutorial.